This is actually my worst grade. I got. Hello everyone, Jingxuan here, a student majoring in economics in NUS. If you are from NUS like myself, or you are from NTU, I'm sure you have received your examination results today already. So in today's video, I'm going to be revealing my results on camera. Yes, you heard me right. You may be thinking, huh, really or not? She's going to reveal her results on camera for the whole world to see? Yes, I'm going to do that. So let's hop right into the video. So many of you are probably wondering why I'm doing this video. Number one is to get views. You see, because topics like this tends to be very juicy and I'm sure many of you will click on this video because you're curious about my results. Secondly, because I document my uni life here on this channel and it's also a channel about growth, I would like to share my results with everyone and be open and transparent because I hope that by doing so, it will help you guys in one way or another. So before we move on, I want to talk about expectations. Why is it so important? Because expectations affects satisfaction, which is the satisfaction level of your results. We all have our own personal set of expectations for our own grades. I have mine too. So a quick disclaimer here. If I say that I am not satisfied with my grade or anything, in no way am I implying that your results are bad. We all have different expectations and our personal expectations affects the way we view our results. So what are my expectations? Personally, I would love to graduate with a second upper class honor so for me, as long as my results fall within this range, I'm satisfied with it. And a grade that gives you B plus and above would mean that your results fall in this range. So last semester was actually the most hectic SEM I ever had. And I think it's mainly attributed to three main reasons. Number one, because I'm overloading. Um, the usual workload is five modules, but I took six modules last SEM. Number two, some of the modules that I took last SEM were quite heavy. And number three, because I joined a CCA and that adds on to my other non-academic commitments. So I actually fell behind quite a lot last sem where I actually was four tutorials and lectures behind for most of my modules. I know all of you can't wait to see my results. Some of you might be thinking, wow, why is she talking so long? Ah? Can she just review her results already or not? Yes, but before we go on, Please hit the like button as it helps out with the algorithm. So the first result that I'm going to review is MNO 1706X Organizational Behavior. This is a module where we mostly learned about human behavior in organizational context. And this is actually a business module. So you might be thinking, why am I taking a business module? Uh, well, because uh, I intend to take a second major in business management and this is one of the requirements. So actually, this is one of my most chill mods for last sem and also one of the fluffiest mods because a component of our grade is us participating in class and you know, like raising our hands and you can see that some people are just fluffing their answers lah. Yeah. But generally, I enjoyed taking this module because it's a bit like psychology but instead, you are learning on human behavior in workplace context. And for our final exam question, it was actually a case scenario where they asked us to use theories that we learned in class to assess whether we would deem this candidate to be suitable for this position that he's applying for. And well, I got an A for this module and I'm really happy with it because at first I thought, um, I wouldn't get an A because I kind of screwed up the final exam because you know the final exam uh, all my friends they wrote quite long essay answer but I remember that my answer was quite short compared to Diaz so I thought I would do badly for the finals but well I ended up doing well and I think part of it was also because of my project work which uh, my tutor really liked our group projects proposal. Next up EC3332 money and banking. I took this mod because I intend to specialize in financial economics in future and in this module we mainly learn about financial institutions and also monetary policy. So I would say this mod is one of the most qualitative mods uh, out of all the econs mods that I have taken 
which is about the same as 2102 because they are taught by the same professor. And why do I say this? Because most econs mods in uni, they are mostly like solving like mathematical equations, etc. So this mod actually the exam was more of answering questions in an essay format. And for this module, I got a B plus. Am I satisfied with it? Well, yes, I would say I'm satisfied with it. But you know, because I done exceptionally well for the midterms, I thought I could have maybe gotten an A minus, but I didn't in the end. And I think part of that reason was because like my finals didn't do as well as expected. And with all the bell curve and all that jazz. Next, Fin 2704S, a finance module. So I took this module because I aim to work in the finance sector in the future. And for this mod, I got a B plus. And for the most part, I'm satisfied with it. Because I could have done much worse as I screwed up my final exam really badly as I couldn't answer most of the questions. But at the same time, I also could have done better. Let me explain. So you see, I put in a lot of hard work for this module where I did four past year papers and most of the questions that I practiced, they came out in the exam. But because you know, I'm the type of person that cannot really work well under stress and panic very easily. So during exam, my mind just went blank and stopped functioning. So even with all those questions that I done before and I know I could do them, I couldn't think of anything during the exams and yeah, if not because I panicked during the exam, I could have scored much better. Maybe I could have gotten an A minus, but it is what it is. Next, 3303 Econometrics. This is actually my worst grade. I got a B minus. Uh, well, you see, for this module, I actually put in the least amount of effort as compared to other modules. So I think that kind of justifies it. But at the same time, the questions that I studied came out for the exam. But because, again, I suffered from exam panic, and at the end, I made a careless mistake where I didn't see the word logarithm in the question, which caused me to lose marks. So, I really hate myself. But yeah, even though the B- pulls down my cap, it's partially offset by the fluff mod, uh, MLO, which has got an A. So, yeah. Next, 3102, Macroeconomic Analysis 2. This module, I found it really difficult for the first half of the content, but luckily for the later half, um, the content became much more manageable. And for the final exam, they only tested the later half of the chapters. For the final exam, I actually didn't finish like 20 marks worth of question. So I was kind of worried. But at the end, I got a B plus for this module. And yeah, I'm satisfied with it because it's exactly what I targeted. Next, GH1040 Musical Production. This is actually the most enjoyable mod I have taken in my entire NUS journey. So, um, it's a mod where we have to work in groups to create our own micro musical that is 10 minutes long. So basically, we have to write our own script and story, compose our own songs, sing, act and dance. And for most of you who know me, you know that music is something that I really love to do. I mean, I even have a music channel, it's called Zim Music, check it out if you want to. And also, being in a musical has always been part of my dream. So to be able to take this mod and create my own musical and be part of it was really something that I really enjoyed doing and never thought that I could have done. And I've taken this mod together with my best friend, uh, you know who you are. And shout out to her because she's a really talented friend and also she's a very nice person. So this is actually the heaviest mod I have taken last semester. And it's also the mod that I put in the most effort into it. Simply because I love doing it. And also my group as a whole put in a lot of effort as well. Like we took multiple days to film the musical video. 
and we even stayed in school from 11 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. So what did I get for this module? I got a B plus. Am I disappointed? Well, I would be lying if I said no. Because, you know, as mentioned, the amount of effort that me and my entire team put into it. But well, in life, hard work does not necessarily equate into results. And I believe it could have been my individual components that I didn't do really well as well that could have put my grade down. But at the end of the day, even though the result was not something that I wanted it to be, um, I still really enjoyed this module because to me, it's the experience and journey that matters. And from this module, I have really gained a very valuable and memorable experience that I will never forget. Also, I'm going to be releasing our musical video soon on my other music channel, so stay tuned. So overall, as a whole, my cap is 4.06 and I am satisfied with my results because it falls within my target range of 4.0 and above. Am I going to SU anything? Well, there's only two modules that I can SU last semester, um, which is MNO, the fluff mod, and also the GH1040, the musical production mod. Because for the MNO, I got an A. Well, of course, I'm not going to SU that. And for GH1040, I got a B plus, And because B plus is what my target aim is, so I'm not going to SU that as well. So what is the overall takeaway for my results? Well, I have learned the importance of managing exam stress and panic. You see, no matter how hard you work, if you panic during exam, your brain is going to stop functioning and you will end up doing worse. So it's really important that we know how to manage our stress and stay calm during exams. And moving on, that is something that I'm working towards too. Also, I want to say that no matter what your results are, whether you are satisfied with it or not, you have done well because you have worked so hard for it and it's the process and journey that matters. Exams are tough and please give yourself a pat on the back and reward yourself for making it through. Also, now it's the summer break, so take your time to enjoy and do the things that you love, like watching Netflix and chill, binge watching YouTube videos like this channel, and yeah, I wish you a happy holidays. Thank you for watching this video, and if you want to join me on my journey to becoming a better version of yourself, then click the subscribe button down below. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to help to support the channel. Thank you and stay awesome.